So Dominique, what is the importance of sagittal alignment for spinal surgeons? Well, we first need to understand that as opposed to sagittal imbalance, where the patient cannot maintain the erect posture anymore, malalignment is not necessarily disease, but it's a feature of the spine which we need to take into account if we decide for one reason or the other to treat the spine in a surgical way, especially with a fusion, because if we do not take it into account, we may set the stage for subsequent failure. So in advance of surgeries, how can surgeons plan for correcting sagittal alignment? Well, the key word is really planning. Um, what we find often is that surgeons at courses tell us that they just eyeball the x-ray. That's not enough. Uh, in our institution, if the parameters are not measured before a fusion, then the lumbar, si the, the lumbar spine or the spine in general is not completely assessed and we haven't really planned for it. So we need to measure the angles and understand where on the spectrum from degenerative spine to deformity that specific patient is and what measures we have to take during surgery in order to address this. What kind of measures would you take during surgery? That largely depends to the extent, on the extent of the malalignment. If there is just small malalignment, then you know, like an interbody fusion, for example, can already, already address this. If we have more or bigger differences in malalignment, or we have a deformity where the patient is already compensating by, for example, retroverting the pelvis or shifting the pelvis, flexing the knees, for example, in order to maintain an erect posture, then a simple interbody fusion from posterior may not be uh, may not be adequate and enough anymore. And other methods, such as anterior fusions or even osteotomies, may have to be considered. I see. And so what kind of products can surgeons use to help make sure that they're taking into account uh, sagittal alignment during surgery? Well, that's interesting. I think the innovation there really is in the understanding and in the planning for surgery. So platforms such as, for example, the IGA platform and or SurgeMap Nuva Map, which allows to measure and understand what the alignment, uh, what understands what sagittal profile the patient has and how it needs to be addressed during surgery where one also can do simulations. They let us choose then the appropriate surgical technique and the most of the techniques are actually already around. We just need to choose them properly according to our planning. What areas of development do you think there'll be over the next few years for product development and uh, surgical techniques in sagittal alignment? Well looking from the degenerative world I think we have been obsessed with the lumbar spine and what we need to understand is is how the whole spine really behaves you know issues like proximal junctional kyphosis in long instrumentations for example is still not very well understood and we have to understand how the spine fails and what forces exactly act and how we potentially can counteract those drivers with our surgical technique and potentially also with implants. So it seems like a, there's a lot of work to be done in sagittal alignment. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs>